come on. Just look at this bean compared to this bean. Size versus personality, people. Which do you choose? Obviously, personality, which is otherwise, huh? Anyways, my name is Phantom, and this is my review on Fall Guys. First things first, this review was conducted on a PS5 console, even though it is the PS4 version of Fall Guys. Anyways, first thing you'll notice in this game is your bean. Come on, isn't he just so cute? Then after you all over this bean, you're immediately going to try to customize him. And if you don't, you're a monster because there is so much variety you can have with these beans. It's insane. And they're all usually cool and can be mixed and matched to make your own personal bean that usually stands out. But how's the gameplay and performance of this bean game? It's pretty okay. Gameplay is basic, but it's a good basic. Usually the most complex it can get is making you memorize a pattern, and I've still seen hundreds fall by guessing wrong. It perfectly balanced the simple between a little kid striving in creativity to an adult who just wants to relax after some scramming afternoons on COD. Performance is also okay. It runs smoothly, but crashes, especially ones that disconnect you from the server, are like super common and will ruin your groove speaking of ruining your groove in my opinion there's not much variety here even with very separate different maps it all just kind of feels the same and gets tiring after a while i also hate that they take off so many maps from being playable oh it really ruins the amount of fun you can have from some nostalgic moments of old and to new surprising funny moments. Lastly, I'd like to mention that there's no story here. Which, it isn't needed. But I always thought that they could actually make some fun levels with these beans to make a fun story mode to play with friends. Whether, if that was a journey to obtain a crown or just some filler, I thought it would be funny. Anyways, if you're wondering, I do recommend this game. It's fun and simple, in a great way. It's easily a basic fun night to relax type of game, without taking away a challenge. I give this game a 7 out of 10. It's not near perfect, but it's definitely fun and worthy of attention. If you're interested in getting the game, I'll leave a link in the description section. Any questions or concerns will be answered in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. That's it from me. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.